Western medicine gave up on me and I was really in trouble. Hi, I'm Donna Eden and this is my partner, my husband, David Feinstein. Hello. <laughs> and, uh, and we're really happy to be here. Forty years ago, forty some years ago, I had to heal myself and all of this has grown out of that. And I had two little girls that I wanted to raise and um, I was told that there was absolutely no help. I had multiple sclerosis and these are, I just started working on my own energies and it was thrilling to see and feel things starting to move in me, starting to get energy in my legs so I could walk, starting to get vitality, starting to not fall asleep every, every hour or so because I had no energy to carry on. I mean, things turned around so much and so fast and that when I got well, all I wanted to do was share it with everybody I knew. I'd really like you to know that and, and put it in your consciousness that energy is the life force, is the life force with an astounding intelligence that is far more intelligent than your psyche, your intelligence. It's, it, it already knows how to heal you. It knows how to restore you and repair you and fuel you. And uh, all, all that is needed is to get in sync with your energies, which, you know, it's been several hundred years probably since anybody's really taught us that. And Donna was saying that your energies are smarter than your psyche, than your own intelligence. Your energies have been evolving for millions and millions of years from the time we crawled out of the oceans. Our energies were evolving to be in sync with our body, to get keep our bodies functioning at their best, to heal our body. So there's an intelligence there that your mind doesn't have to understand. And one of the things unique about Donna is that from childhood, she's been able to see energy. And she doesn't really talk about that too much because she doesn't she wants to give the message that anyone can do this and she's spent her career figuring out how to <laughs> how to teach energy medicine so that people that don't see energy are able to still benefit from the methods and the benefits for her have been obvious she was um, as she said she was told that she would not live more than two to five years that she her organs were breaking down she had a heart attack at age 27. So she's really talking from her experience. I want to demonstrate how you can shift your energy. So I would like a volunteer to come up here, just anybody. I'm just gonna show energy. <laughs> Marque. Okay. Come here, Marque. You stand right there, okay? And I'm going to energy test her. And energy testing is a great biofeedback tool to let you know what's going on in the body. And it will just, it, it'll be self-explanatory in just a minute. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna pick up her arm and, up, and she's very, very, very strong. Can I move her back that far? I'm gonna move back here. And this will work if I'm touching her body. This will work if I'm not, if I'm simply in her aura, in her energy field. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come down here to your second toe and I'm gonna travel up your body to your head, around to your chin, and end up underneath your eyes. And now you're gonna put your arm up again. With all your might, you hold your arm up strong. And I'm gonna use one finger. And you can see that I am not overpowering her in muscle strength. This is an energy test. And what that shows is that it pulled energy out of the meridian that I traced backwards. So if you trace a meridian backwards, and everybody in here, everybody out there can do this. Your hands are electromagnetic. You have electromagnetic energy. And if you align your hands up with somebody else, I'm gonna come back here and I'm gonna do the opposite this time. I'm aligning my energies right up with hers. I'm following stomach meridian and I'm just tracing it down the body. And you can feel that and it gets stronger and stronger the more you do it. But you can see what happened. Okay. Oh, that time was I traced a meridian forward 
And that is a great skill to know. It is simple, it is easy, this is user friendly. And again, if I trace backwards close up, we'll see what happens. If I trace it forward this way, all right. I mean, it's just quick and you can, you can begin to shift, you know, old patterns in your body that just don't work anymore. And, or that maybe are dysfunctional right now, or giving you a tummy ache, or that meridian is very good for heartache. Okay, thank you. <laughs> okay. And there are also times where you want to take energy out of a meridian. We think, well, we want more energy. Give me more, give me more, give me more, but it's not like that. Because what happens is that if energy gets stuck in a meridian, then it can flow to other parts of the body. So you have to, bring the energy out in order to get the energy flowing. And often pain is a result of energy being stuck somewhere in the body. So knowing how to put it in is important. Knowing how to take it out is important. What I just did was traced a meridian backwards to take energy out of the flow, and I traced it forward to bring it back in. Now, that was just one meridian because there are 14 meridians in the body they govern and usually go through a major organ in the body, so they have great influence over that organ, but also wherever they travel. So they travel through muscles and ligaments and bones, everything in the body. And so they, they are very, very important to your vitality and aliveness. They also have a particular time of the day that they get stronger every two hours. It's like our 24 hour clock. Every two hours, a different meridian gets stronger. And you might even look at your own life and notice that there's a particular time of day that you lose your energy, or this is a time of day I've always got energy, or I'm a night person or a morning person. All of those things relate to your meridians. And, um, and I just like to say that when you, when you go traveling and get jet lag, I mean, that's about the, that 24 hour clock of two hours to each meridian. You happen to leave, say, Los Angeles at a certain time, you skip time zones and flew into London and you're on their time zone and suddenly you've got jet lag because your body was in sync with another time. And so if you trace all your meridians, you, you can come right up to the time zone of London that you've flown into or wherever you fly. Meridians are just one of the energy systems that I work with and see, but meridians are incredibly important because they stream constantly in the body and they empower your organs and uh, your life. And we all tend to be stronger in one more than another for instance, myself, when I was very sick, spleen meridian was very weak in me. There is a meridian called triple warmer that uh, governs the fight, flight, or freeze response. And it's so important and was so important in ancient times to save our lives. And it was constantly turned on by you know the stress of the times and we had to take care of ourselves we didn't have a lot of outside things that would nurture us and take care of us and so that turned on a lot to just keep us alive the problem is is that that meridian is still as strong as it once was and so people get too angry or too upset or fall apart too easily and that is the energy that first pulls from spleen meridian because it can pull from any meridian it wants to take care of the stresses in our life. And that is what the daily routine will really help you with. In the life that we live today, with all the pollutants and toxins and, and just the stresses of our time, there are so many things that can throw your meridians off. But one of the wonderful things about energy medicine and the daily routine is that they will correct the things that are that are hurting you, that are harming you, and 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 get you back into your life again in a healthy way.